Okay, no matter who you are, you like talking about the glory days, right? Whether it be me on this channel talking about how women have rejected me or an ex-high uh, school football player talking about how he sacked the star quarterback at another school and he won't let it go even seven years later. That's a direct shot at somebody who might be watching this video. Anyway, um, here's what I mean. Uh, people like to talk about the time when they were popular, where they were relevant. And in this uh, instance, I'm referring to these uh, TV show stars having podcasts about the one TV show they're remembered by. The two examples I have here are uh, the Wizards of Waverly Place people. It was Alex uh, Caruso's dad, uh, so Selena Gomez's character's dad, and then Alex Caruso's best friend, Harper, who uh, is Selena Gomez's friend, Harper. Now, why am I talking about this? Because I thought it was very interesting, because I also saw the Ned C. Classified guys have a podcast and i think that's really cool that the three of them are talking about the show and a lot of people might say this is reaching this is them not being able to let go this is them holding on to a career like remember when zoe 101 the two fucking the, the one black dude and then chase with the long hair um they brought back the cd that was buried that were zoe said that chase was a soulmate they brought that back like 10 years later just for nothing and that they literally waited for that to revive their careers because their career was so shit but I don't think this is the same, right? What I think this is, is self-awareness. They know that all they're known for is Nazi Classified. They're not stupid. They understand that fucking nobody knows them for anything besides Nazi Classified. If you can name something other than Nazi Classified that those two, the, those three people were in, fucking comment it below. I doubt it. I can't think of a single thing. Same with the Wizards of Waverly Place. The dad, although he was, I think he's a very prominent actor... He has a podcast with uh, the, the girl that's Alex's friend because uh, they got nothing else going on. And I think this is very smart because that's all they're known for. So they're taking advantage and they know people are going to tune in because that's all they want to hear them talk about. That's it. That's all they want to hear them talk about. So they're taking advantage. It's a very, very smart move, right? I know the Sopranos guys have a podcast. I know uh, fucking Drake from Drake and Josh. If he were to have a podcast, that'd be the only thing he's got going on for him because isn't he like a convicted pedophile or some shit? That's, I'm just saying it's smart and it's self-awareness, right? I wouldn't be surprised if the Zoe 101 guys do it. I wouldn't be surprised if the fucking victorious people do it. It's just a good move because they got nothing else going on, right? So uh, podcasters, congrats to you. You guys are doing good. Anyway, boys, that's it for this video. Do me a favor. Comment below uh, if you've seen any other shows turning into podcasts and cop yourself some merch. Shop.com. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.